Dear friends, in this video, we are discussing change of scale property of Laplace transform. Okay, so th what is the statement of change of scale property? The statement is, if L of f of t, Laplace transformation of f of t is f of s, then L of f of a t is, is equal to 1 by a into f of s by a. Okay. When we will use this change of scale property, now we will discuss. First, by the observation you see, Laplace transformation of f of t is f of s. Then, Laplace transformation of f of a t is 1 by a f of s by a. You see, in ninth class, graphical representation, if you want to draw the graph of y is equal to x plus 1 or else x plus 2, like uh, suppose draw the graph for y is equal to x plus 3. Okay, for that reason, what we will do, what we will do means first uh, we will uh, find the values, nothing but we will find the scale. See, we are taking x value, y value. Here, like uh, what we will do means okay. For example, 0, minus 1, 2, 1, 2. Then we will get for 0, it is 3. For minus 1, it is 2. For 2, for minus 1, it is this one. For minus 2, this is 1. For 1, it is 4. For 2, it is 5. Like this, you observe, whenever x plus 3, these x values are small. So we are taking in the graph, each unit we will give 1 only. Okay, now in the like uh, they will give column here, it is 1, start from 1, 0, 1, 2, here 1, here 2, this is minus 1, minus 2 we will take and this is minus 1, minus 2. Suppose same like if you want to find y is equal to x plus 3 value about 300, 500, 1000, okay or else 3 times, 4 times. In that case, we will change. Suppose if it is 100 times if they are given. Uh, at 100 if you want to expand. Not only from minus 2 to 2. If you want to expand from minus 100 to plus 100. In this case, what, will, um, what we will do means, may we can take like a divide each interval as a 10 units. Or else each interval as a 50 units. 50 units means only you will get a 2. Suppose if you are taken 10 units. 10, here 10 minus 10, no, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40, like minus 100. Here 10, 20, like 30, 40. So in this case, okay, suppose if you want to expand up to 100 uh, with uh, uh, 25 units, means this will be minus 25, this will be 25, this will be 50, this will be 75, this will be 100. Okay, now in this case, minus 50, uh, minus 75, minus 100. Why we are discussing this means, the expansion, uh, this roots if you want to find and to draw the graph for this is in this place when the uh, x values are small when the x values are small we can take like this graph when the x values are big see x values are big in this case we cannot draw in the given graph wrapper directly so in that case we are taking the small units as a capital units so, if they are given a L of f of t, then we can find out f of s directly. But when they are given like L of 100 t, find L of 3 t, find L of 5 t, in that case we will use the change of scale property. Only t given, then no need to do. Suppose 100 times, suppose you see y is equal to 100 x if I give it. Like in this case, when, okay, now we will discuss the proof of this. First you see what is the proof. What they given L of f of t. Okay, now by the definition of Laplace transformation, we have L of f of t is, is equal to integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus st into f of t dt. This is, is equal to f of s. From where s it is came, that already we have discussed. The coefficient of minus t is s here. Okay, now, now what you have to prove? LHS part you take. Now we have to, now, Laplace transformation of f of a t, we are considering, by the definition, you see, by the definition, 
len last bracket is integral 0 to infinite e power minus st bracket dt. What is the bracket you have? f of at into dt. Now you have to simplify this. You see, what we have to prove actually f of s minus a we have to prove. So in place of s, so it should be like a s minus a times. So your function is what only t. So for this purpose, you have to consider a t as one other function. So put a t is equal to x. So that d differentiate on both sides a into d t is equal to what I will get means d x. So d t is nothing but d x by a. See, we are considering this bracket inside of f of inside of f what you have that you consider as x. In this case, you will get t is equal to x by a. At the same time, we are changing the limits of t into x. Okay, t into x. So dt also we are changing. Differentiate on both sides. Then you will get a into dt is equal to dx. That implies dt only you want. So dt is equal to dx by a. Okay, now we require the limits of t t is also t t limits also we need to change so now you take the limits for t and x first t limits write the t lower limit t lower limit is 0 and t upper limit is what infinite now i want to change into x nigher see x only we are changing so x limits we need to find put t is equal to 0 here when you put t equal to 0 what is the x value 0. When you put uh, t is infinite, upper limit is what? Infinite. a into infinite means infinite only. So you will get uh, this is also infinite. So now you substitute x value, t val uh, dt value, uh, d dt value and at values and t values so in this equation. Then L of f of at is, is equal to integral. What is the lower limit of x? 0. What is the upper limit of x? Infinite e to the power of minus what is the t value here x by a see minus s into x by a into f of what is what is at value at is x okay into dt what is the dt value dx by a okay na? now this is is equal to you can take a, a uh, 1 by a as outside you see a is in denominator you can take outside then you will get integral 0 to infinite e to the power of minus you see the function once first i will write the remaining part f of x dx what you have here x here if it is t then t quotient what you have minus t quotient what you have that you written here so x is then a minus x quotient type you need to write what i can write uh, x quotient minus x quotient x by a so for that you put a bracket so s by a into x Comparing with this equation, this and this, what you have? 1 by a, 1 by a. Limit 0 to infinite is limit 0 to infinite. e power uh, f of x means f of t. dx means dt. In place of the quotient of minus x is here s by a, the quotient of minus t is here s. So whenever minus t quotient is s, you written f of s. So in this place, what about the minus x quotient? s by a. So what you can write? f of s by a. So the Laplace transformation of f of at is equal to 1 by a f of s by a. This is called change of scale property. When we will use this one means if suppose they will give like if L of f of t is equal to f of s then find L of f of 3t L of f of 5t like 100t. In this case we will use the change of scale property. Now we will discuss problems on this. Now here we are discussing the problem number one that what they gave is uh, the first problem is if L of f of t is is equal to 1 by s into f of sorry 1 by s into e to the power of minus 1 by s. Then prove that L of e power minus t into f of 3t is, is equal to e power minus 3 by s plus 1 divided by s plus 1. Now we have to prove this. Once you observe the above problem, they are given L of f of t. What is L of f of t? L of f of t is equal to 
f of s. Then what we have to find? L of f of a t type. L of f of a t type. Okay. Now this is what uh, this value we have to prove this. We know that uh, second shifting theorem property. Like a uh, excuse me here. f of a t is there na so f of a t means we have to use a change of scale property but one more thing is there we need to find a l of e power a t into f of t form e power a t into f of t form in this case we have to use the first shifting theorem is also okay first you see you compare with this l of e power a t into f of a t okay first you find this one by using a change of scale property change of scale property after that what we will use after that we will use a first shifting theorem okay first what we will do means change of scale property we have to use what is the definition you have change of scale property means if l of f of t L of f of t means Laplace transformation of f of t is f of s. Then L of f of a t Laplace transformation of f of a t is one by a into f of s by a. Okay, what they given information you see they give L of f of t is f of s. You see here directly they are given. So what is f of s here? You have one by s into e to the power of minus one by s. They gave here. We need. We no need to find the function. They are not given f of t. They gave directly l of f of t. Laplace transformation of f of t. That is f of s. They are given here. Okay, na. So now we know that f of s, na. Can you find out l of f of a t? Yes. What you want to find? L of f of three t. So first we discuss, na. We need to find this is the first and this is the second. So l of f of 3t laplace transformation of f of 3t is 1 by a a is 3 f of s by 3 okay na now f of s by 3 i need to find when i can find out means in place of s uh, when i can find if i know f of s then i can find f of s by 3 i know f of s you see this is the f of s okay na now in place of s what i have to replace just s by 3 only so from this One by three into what is f of s? You read on f of s is one by s e to the power of minus one by s. In place of s, I need to substitute s by three. Okay na? I need to substitute s by three. So this will become one by three into one by s by three. Reciprocal of reciprocal na here. So I will get here three by s into e to the power of minus three by s. Okay na? Next. Uh, Both side you can cancel. Uh, numerator three, denominator three you can cancel. Then I will get uh, one by s into e to the power of minus three s. Up to this we are done a change of scale property. But uh, the problem is completed here. Check it. We have to find not only f of a t. We need to find e power a t into f of t form. So we need to apply the first shifting theorem. So you see. L of e power minus t into L of e power minus t into f of three t by first shifting theorem. L of e power a t f of t is equal to f of s minus a. So what is a here? You have minus one. So minus of minus one means s plus one. You know this is what value you know you can consider f of s type you can consider. So in place of this, I need to substitute s plus one. S tends to s plus one. So the answer will become one by s plus one into e to the power of minus three by s plus one. What value this is? L of e power minus t into f of three t. Okay na? Now you see here we are done. Previous uh, lecture, what we discussed the first shifting theorem, and in this lecture, what we are discussed the change of scale property. Sometimes they will give combination is also how you can identify means if you want to find only f of three t, then you apply the change of scale property. But the product of two functions, if they are given, check 
what type of the function they are multiplied that based on that only we will solve the laplace transformation okay next problem we will see second problem is if f of t is equal to sin 2t find f of phi t okay you see this is f of t so this is f of phi t f of a t form so go for the change of scale property what is the change of scale property you have if l of f of t is equal to f of s okay then l of f of a t is is equal to f of 1 by a into f of s by a this is the change of scale property now we will apply you see in the previous problem directly they given uh, they are given l of f of t that is f of s but in this problem they are given only f of t we need to find f of s for that purpose we need to apply the laplace transformation formula so what is f of t here you have sin 2t now apply the l of f of t laplace transformation on both sides then laplace transformation of sin 2t we know that l of sin 2t is a by a means here 2 by s square plus a square 4 so now it is what f of s you see now you know the f of s now? yes so what you can find out change of scale property directly you can apply so what is the change of scale property here means l of f of phi t we need to find see l of f of phi t so this is 1 by a a is here phi f of s by a a is here phi so from this you see 1 by 5 write down first f of s what is f of s here you have s square plus 4 in place of s you replace s by 5 then you will get 1 by 5 into 2 by s by 5 whole square plus 4 you can simplify this or else you can leave suppose if you want to simplify you can get the answer after uh, even though you can stop up to this okay no? this is laplace transformation of f of phi t whenever f of t is sin 2t next problem in this problem they are given if L of f of t is equal to 9s square minus 2ls plus 15 by s minus 1 whole cube. Here you have to observe they are given f of s. They are not given f of t. They are given directly f of s. So we no need to find f of s. Then find f of 3t. We know the by change of scale property. By change of scale property L of f of 3t is equal to 1 by a f of s by a a is here 3 just what is f of s they given you read 9s square minus 12s plus 15 by s minus 1 whole cube this is what value f of s value ok 1 by 3 I am writing outside and uh, in place of s we need to replace s by 3 then you will get the answer so in this case you see this is 1 by 3 times of in place of 9 uh, in place of s s means s by 3 we have to replace minus 12 into s by 3 plus 15 divided by s by 3 minus 1 whole cube okay now you simplify this then after simplifying you will get here directly I am writing 9 s square minus 4 s 9 9 cancel here you see this one getting cancelled then you will get 4 and uh, here what you have 15 so 15 divided by s minus 3 whole cube okay this is minus 3 if it is came outside 27 after simplifying you will get the this answer okay thank you for watching this video